Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks, and I'm going to be going through a demo of how to record and edit your course videos using Descript. That's the tool that I've been using all the time now because it's just so easy. I don't always use it to record, but I'm going to show you how you can record into it really easily, or you can just import a recording as well. Let's go to the instructor materials. What I'm going to do is first show you the slideshow as you would get it. It's ready to brand, ready to add your elements to it. And there are a few ways that you can record these for videos and then edit them in Descript or record them directly in Descript. Now, if you want to do it in PowerPoint, what you can do is break them up so that each module will be a separate video. I have a tutorial on that. You would just speak through each one of the slides and then finish it up and then move on to the next one. You can also do it in Canva, same thing, break it up module by module, put it into Canva and then record it right in Canva. Those are two very simple ways to record your videos. Another option is to use a screen capture software and then you really don't need to break it up. You can just speak through as you're recording, speak through one full module and then just stop your screen recording. That's another great way, very easy. Then you don't have to break up into separate modules. That's the way I typically do it because I'm lazy. I don't want to break it up. You do some editing first. The way to break it up most easily is to just save it as another name. So I would just go file save as so that you're not overwriting your other, your original materials and call it whatever it is you want to call it. Say I have demo intro. I'm just going to do the intro. I'm going to save that so that I have a new name. And then I'm going to go to the end of this intro and just delete all the rest of it. Cause I only need the slides. So control shift to highlight them all and delete. And now I only have the slides I need for the intro and that's it. I would save that. And then you can go in and do whatever edits you can add your image in there, a headshot. You can add a design like one of the ones that's built in. You can look in the designer tab in here. In PowerPoint, they often give you some suggestions of things you can do and use those as well and just go through and make a few simple changes to that. And I'll show you the example that I did. In this one, I made a few changes where I added my image and made some other edits. And then when you're all done and you have just those slides, again, you can record right there in PowerPoint, follow one of my tutorials for that. It's just the recording tab, recording from the beginning, making sure you have your audio going or going into Canva. You would go into, and once you have your slides set up, you just take that. I've got the intro and you would drag and drop it into Canva, just on the home page of Canva and then open it up. Just click on it to open it up and you can start playing around with that. Canva has also layout suggestions that are somewhat good, sometimes not good. I noticed that they've improved it a little bit, but they give you some ideas. For instance, here you'll see if you go into design and layouts, it'll give you some ideas and you would just replace the current page, maybe make the text a bit bigger on sections that are too small, and then go through slide by slide and see what kind of things it suggests or that you would add to it. You can see it gives different suggestions. It's now giving suggestions with images as well, which is kind of cool. It hasn't done that before. Every time you go into any of these tools, their AI improves. This is all AI driven on here and is better than it used to be. So for instance, here's the test that I did where you can see it was giving some different things in here. And the way to record this in Canva, if you want to do your recording that way, is you go into share and then you go into to present and record and you can go to the recording studio 
And that's where you can have no camera, with camera, microphone, and then you just start recording. And once it's done, you can export that as a video. Now, the third way where we're going to talk about Descript is recording it directly in Descript or editing it in Descript. If I open up Descript now, you're going to have a, a home page that looks kind of like this after you add even more videos. When you get started, it'll be blank, obviously. And you'll see I've set up some demos, but first I'm going to show you how you can do your recording in Descript. You would start a new project and you'd want to do a video project. It's going to give you some options. You can upload a file. So if you've recorded your video in PowerPoint or Canva or some other screen recording or other type of software, you can take that file and just drag and drop it into here or upload it. That's one way. And then let it transcribe it. You'll end up with a transcription. I'll show you what that looks like. Otherwise, you can click record so that you record right into it. Make sure you give it a title, like I'm going to say here, test. It's showing this on my other screen. And then you can say camera, screen. So you could record something with just you on the camera and then say you have your slideshow recorded separately put that in as well afterwards. You can break it up into different scenes and combine things in here really easily. Or you can just do screen recording and I can have my camera turned off because I'm already using it, so I can't use it here anyway. Computer audio disabled, what that does is if you are playing anything in the background, like some music or you have some system sounds or for example, if I wanted to demo the video to you and you actually be able to hear it at the right volume level, I would need to have that enabled. Otherwise, any sound that the computer, your system makes, isn't going to show up and you don't want it to. In this case, I've got the computer audio disabled and the camera disabled. I only have my microphone. And then you would record into script. What that means is it will transcribe everything that you say. And then you'll easily be able to edit that just as you would in a Word document. It also means you can easily edit and have the captions be precise. So I would just click record into script and it's saying drag to record part of the screen, press space to record the full screen. So I might just have my slideshow there. You're just seeing this now and I could click record it's going to start recording just that portion. I'm not sure what's going to happen actually right now since I am doing this live stream at the same time. It looks like it, it might record it right into there. But what I would do is make sure I had my slideshow open and I would just highlight the slideshow and be able to follow my notes underneath it and talk through them all and then click stop. Hopefully you can see that it actually recorded and it transcribed what I was saying. You can see what it was, what it was saying in there. But let me show you what that looks like on an actual recording. I'm going to go back to my home button and let me show you this demo I did. What I did here is what I just showed you, only I had the slides showing. And I just highlighted the screen where I had the bit of the screen where I had the slides and I had my notes visible to me underneath it, or you could have it in a separate document. And it recorded the video and it recorded everything I said. Now we get to the editing stage. That was it. All I did was highlight the screen, talk through it. I can add some on camera stuff afterwards, but I can jump straight into editing right here. And you can skim through different text. Uh, you'll see these are dots here. That's often where there are pauses. When you're speaking through your slides, if there's something you messed up, just pause for a little bit and then say it again. And that way you'll find it in here right away. I can read through that, but there's a quick way, if I know there's no mess ups, for me to edit out all those pauses in Descript. And that's in this bit on the right, there's something that you can kind of see behind my logo 
called Underlord. I'm going to open that up. And there's a bunch of different options in here. There's edit for clarity, studio sound, gets rid of background noise. It works really well if you have any kind of background noise. It does a phenomenal job. Remove filler words, so things like uh and um. The higher your paid plan is, the more it will re it will remove, the more choices. I don't have a very high level plan for this. I don't need one. I have just the first level of paid plan, and that's been plenty for me. But it will remove those automatically, highlight them for you. Remove retakes. I haven't tried yet. They're always adding something. But shorten word gaps. It's identified 57 places where I paused it. And you can set 0.3 seconds or more, how much to shorten. And I can just click shorten all. And it will go through and see how fast that was. It got through all of the different spaces in there. And the same with the filler words. I can go in and remove filler words. I only had one because I was reading basically from a script. So I don't have the uhs and the ums. And I can just remove that. It's, it will highlight it. I can actually go through and find it. I could just remove that. Done. You can see how easy it is to edit in here. You can also, if you're going to be using captions, change any text in here. For instance, it says I'm Sharon Sheldon. I just highlight it, click correct, and put in the right spelling my name, click enter, done. Skim through that. And then of course you would play it and look for any places where you want to make any changes or even separate something. All you do is put a slash and it then breaks it up. That's an example of something you can do. Then you're all edited. You can just leave it like that and generate and publish it and download it. Very simple. Or what's a great way to make this a great way to make this more unique and more personal is to add an on camera intro. The way to do that is to go up to the very beginning. And you know how I showed you how to do that slash to start a new scene. You can do that at the very beginning. And you'll see you have options to add file. So if you record yourself on camera, say on your phone or some other software, or you just have another section you want to add, you can do that, drag and drop it just like you did before. Or you can record right into the script. There's an option for AI speech as well, where you could give it some text. But I really don't like that because I don't think the AI speech is up to par. It will be eventually, I'm sure but it's always better to sound like yourself. So to record into it, you would just click record and you can again, pick different things. I would pick say the on camera, click record and start speaking. Now I'm already on camera for you, so I'm not gonna do that here, but I'll show you the end result. It will put it right in there in that first one and it will transcribe it just like we showed you. So let me show you the demo of that. Here you can see it's two scenes. I did what I showed you before, which is just add that slash and start recording. So I could even do it again. And you see that record and I pick the camera, but I don't want that. So I'm just gonna highlight it and delete it. And then I would go in and edit this. For instance, there's a gap there. I could do that manually, highlight it. I could get rid of the so, because I tend to say so all the time, and continue on through. And then it comes to the next section where it went to the slide. When you have two sections like that, one thing you want to do is put a fade in so it goes to the next section. In here, what I can do is go into elements, scene. You highlight the bit that says scene. You go into transitions and I um, can transition in or out. I want to fade out. And then what will happen is when I get to the very end here, let's see if you can see this. And get started. Welcome to how see, and it just faded out and went into the next section. So that's a really quick, easy way for you to add a quick little on camera bit at the very beginning of any slideshow. Record a section of your screen just to do your slides, stop, go back in and edit, maybe add a little intro with that on camera and that transition at the end. The last thing you might wanna do 
before you publish this for your course platform is to add captions. And that's another thing you can do in Descript quite easily. There's one on the right that says captions. And it'll give you some different formats, like the classic karaoke format. It will start applying the layout and it will use all this text for your captions. That's why you want to go in and edit this as best you can. But again, you're doing all in one place, which is really nice. And you can see it's added it. I can move it around. I can change the font to something like blue or stick with that other color. There's lots of different things you can do. You can do a background. You could add a, a block behind it and play with that a little bit. And you can see it's put the captions everywhere there in that scene only. Let me go to the next scene so you can see that. Okay. Now you can see in here, it has not put captions in. I don't recommend putting in captions when you have slides that have text on them. I find it very distracting, but that is an option as well. Once you've broken things into scenes like that, you will need to put the captions into each one. Otherwise do it all at once. And then you're done and you're ready to publish it. I'm not going to publish, but you would put, click publish and then download. And you end up with a final video that you can upload to your course platform. And that's everything in Descript. I use for the course platform, something called New Zendler. And just to show you really quickly in any of these courses, when you start a course and you're in the curriculum, you can add video. That's where you would upload your video. So you set up all your structure for your course to match up with the course book and your slides. You'd upload the video. You could upload the cheat sheet and certainly the action guide as a PDF. And you can add quizzes as well. There's all those different options. And then you're ready to go.